of our focuses this week with the story of Ruby Bridges is comparing and contrasting. We've done this quite a bit in the past, haven't we? And if you remember, the word compare means to show the way that two people or things are alike. The word contrast means to show how they're different. And to compare and contrast this week, we're going to use a Venn diagram. We've used one of these a lot in the past as well. We compared Sarah and Samuel to one another using a Venn diagram. We also compared and contrasted the Sword in the Stone movie to the Sword in the Stone play using a Venn diagram. And today you're going to compare yourself to Ruby Bridges using a Venn diagram. When we look at our Venn diagram, the first thing we want to do is label our circles. So I'm going to come up here to where it says character and I'm going to write Ruby's name because she is the character in our story. Okay. What do you think you're going to put on this line where it says me? That's right, you're going to put your name. I'm going to pretend my name is Sally. All right, and then if you remember from the ones that we've done in the past, when we're, we put things in this circle over here under Ruby's name that only apply to Ruby, that don't apply to Sally, things that they do not have in common. On this side, in this big circle over here that just has Sally's name, you're going to write things that apply to Sally, but that her and Ruby don't have in common. And then, of course, in the middle, this is where you're going to compare them and talk about the things that they have in common. All right, so let's take a look at Ruby and Sally. What's one thing that you might think that they have in common? Well, I'm betting that Sally's probably a girl, and we know that Ruby's a girl. So let's go ahead and write that they're both girls in the middle. What's something else that they have in common? Hmm, maybe Sally likes school. We know that Ruby likes school, right? So we can write likes school. Okay. What are some things that they might not have in common? Hmm, I know that Ruby had some brothers and sisters, right? She had some siblings. So I'm going to write siblings here. And we're going to pretend that our friend Sally over here does not have any brothers or sisters, so she has no siblings. That's a way that they are different. We're contrasting them. Okay, now if Sally did have some brothers and sisters, that might be something that you would want to put in the middle, that they both have siblings. Now let's make a change up here. I'm going to change this, and I want to change my name up here to Tom. Can you see anything on our Venn diagram that we should probably change now that I've changed uh, the that I've changed my name to Tom? Well, I'm probably not a girl, right? So maybe you're a boy, this would be something that you can contrast yourself with Ruby. Ruby is a girl, and Tom is a boy. Okay. And you can come up with some other things that, that Ruby and Tom, or Ruby and yourself, have in common and put those in the middle. When you do your Venn diagram, you're going to come up with your own ideas. It could be about the type of person Ruby is, um, the time that she lived, and you can compare and contrast it with your, with the time that you live or what you're like. You get to make your own decisions. I would like for you to make sure that you have in each circle, I would like you to make sure that you have three items. So over here I want three ways that Ruby is different from you. Three things that you can list about Ruby that are different from yourself. On the side with your name you're going to write three things that 
that describe you, that have to do with you, that Ruby does not have in common with you. And in the middle, I'd like you to come up with three things that you have in common with Ruby. Okay, you can use your book to help you look through it. This can be things, the, the way that Ruby looks, the way that she acts, um, or like I said, the time that she lived. After you're done comparing and contrasting and filling out your Venn diagram, you can share the results with the other students in your group and see what you guys see what you all came up with. Okay, if you have any questions, you can come back and take a look at this again anytime you'd like and have fun.